So we just learned about how to count sig figs. How do we use them when we're actually doing calculations? And here, in this video, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing with sig figs. Because here's the problem. Let's say you were multiplying the numbers 1,032 and 0 .00002. When you multiply them together, you're going to get a number that's going to have probably a lot of decimal points. But the question is, where do you round it? There's a different level of precision here. I mean, another example might be 20,000 and 0 .001. When you multiply these, where should it be rounded, if anywhere? How many sig figs should it have? Well, this is this uh, video will tell you how to figure out how many sig figs something has. And the general rule is this. When you're multiplying or dividing, your answer should have the same number of sig figs as the least precise number in the problem does. So this is what I mean. Let's say we, we had, ooh, say we're figuring out the area of something, which is 2.3 centimeters by 7.45 centimeters. Well, that's just length times width, right? So we would do 2.3 times 7.45. We would multiply those out, pop those into our calculator. Oh, centimeter here, centimeter here. When we multiply these together, we would get 17.135 centimeters squared. Here's the problem, though. How precise really can this be, given that this is only to two sig figs, right? One, two. He's only to three. Well, now we know. Our answer has to have the same number of significant figures as the least precise number. So that would be this one, right? He has two. So that means our answer has to have two. So we got a round. And the way you round when sig with sig figs is you count out your sig figs, and then you look to the number to the right. And then you say to yourself, all right, does that round up? So. Here we are, we start from the left because we're present. Here's one, two, so here's going to be the end of our sig fig right here. So we got to look at the one. Can we round up to seven? No, because if this were five and up, we could. But since it's one to four, or zero to four, we don't. So the answer is just going to be reported as 17 centimeters squared. Let's do another example. Let's say we were trying to figure out a density question. And we found that the mass was 6.443 grams. And let's say we found that the volume was 8.91 liters. Well, to find the density, we just do mass over volume. So we would do 6.443 grams over 8.91 liters. OK? So we would divide these out. We would get some large number, which I have to look up. Hold on one second. OK, I'm back. I was just going to pull up the calculator for a second. Uh, so we're going to do 6.443 divided by 8.91. This is going to get us, oh my goodness, a massive ugly number. So we're going to get 0 0.7. So is it 0 0.72312? 0 0.72312. 72312, 0, 00897, 0, 00897, blah, 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 right? It can go on for probably forever, right? Well, where do we stop? Where do we round this off? Where do we, where do we truncate? Well, we have to see which has the least number of sig figs. Well, here we get a decimal present. We count from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, decimals present. We count from the left. 1, 2, 3. So this number only has 3. He has 4. So that means our answer has to have 3 sig figs. So, Decimals present, we have one, two, three. So we're going to slice off here. We look at the next number and we say, okay, is it five to t five to nine? Can we round up? Oh, no, we just keep it. So the answer here is just going to be 0.723 grams per liter. And that's the gist of multiplying and dividing when you're talking about sig figs. In the next video, we'll talk about adding and subtracting.